What's going on everybody? King of Dakinesu here. And today we're trying out something I've like yes, finally. Silent Hill the short message. I just found this on my PlayStation 5. You guys can find it too. It is like a uh, I guess you could say like a short demo or something like that or just something to kind of give us a little bit. I'm really waiting for the Silent Hill 2 remake. I can't wait to see what's going on with that one. But I saw this and I was like, "Oh, I've got to play it." Because if you guys don't know me by now, I am a huge, huge Silent Hill fan. I love Silent Hill. So this seemed really interesting. Um, so I was like, I've got to, I got to, I got to play this. I got to play it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to play this. So let's hit new game. I don't know what's about. It's free. You guys can try it yourself. Um, if you feel that you are at risk of suicide or self-harm, please seek medical and or professional advice, treatment and or support from experts in the field of suicide and self-harm prevention. If you need immediate assistance, please contact a local hotline or hospital. If you notice someone around you who appears to be struggling, try talking to them. One brave step can save lives. U.S. 988 Suicide and Cross, uh, Crisis Lifeline. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Seeking a connection with others. I'm gonna shut up. Is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Oh, it's first person. What? Let's go. Last time I played a first person Silent Hill game was uh, The Room. Silent Hill The Room. Oh my god. Welcome to the city or of no hope. This is model. This? Is it this building? I guess. The plan to rebuild can Kettenstad an overview. Kettenstad is a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold in recent years. Those in their 20s have begun leaving in, in Masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild K K Kettenstad and restore to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is re revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations since 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better visualize our vision for a new Kettenstead. Wow. 
So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? This is... Whoa, bro. The plants of Rubica suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, look at that. They threw COVID-19 in here. Uh, has reduced interest in from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the um, monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and fin financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances, Kettenstead has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures, and so all adults are. A slave to the system. Oh, shit. I'm scared. I don't want to go. Nope. Where are you, Maya? This is creepy, bro. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh great. It's locked. The door just shut behind me. Fuck that shit. Oh you creepy ass baby doll. Always been trapped. September twenty eighth, twenty twenty one. Notice a provisional meeting to all villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to exploit explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Well, I've only got one way, and that's this way. Room 202. Maya? Do this, CB Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. This city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Could I ever be proud of myself? Mm. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. Oh, shit.
Oh, what? I don't know if this is on the PC or not. If it is, I'll just replay through it again with my, like... Who's there? Sorry for the late reply, I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How you feeling? I'm okay, I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously? DW about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. What? What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Ugly, ugly, ugly. It just says ugly. Loser. Oh, insane. Liar, Tracy. Dumb. Cry, baby. Ugly. I hate you, dumb. Go away. She never said anything nice. child abuse, neglect, and get instead. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstead last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be, be the cause. My mom loved me. What the fuck? What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know. All of them. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a sprint button. Maya? Oh, 
Oh shit, go, 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 go. You hear? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? And nothing. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstad has become known for its suicides with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy remains easy accessible. Easy accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local resident security concerns grow to uh, continue to grow. Please. Not Maya, too. She has been acting weird of lately. Another one of Maya's, uh, paintings. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. Well, let's let's try to find her. This looks so good. Inside the fog of, of social media, solitude and anxiety and teenagers, all the teenagers in the view said they were ashamed of the risque selfies that uh, they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all the kids had in common was extremely low, low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive re attention. The sense of fulfillment they experience after getting a like online is difficult to, for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing the toxic quest for va for validation. Oh, the famous suicide spot. I don't know where I'm going, guys, to be honest with you. 
I guess back where I was. The game looks good, though. If this is going to look good, I can't wait for Silent Hill 2 Remake, bro. That shit's going to be off the chain. more about college I can't do it you don't have to decide right away so once you're at college are you not coming back here no way I'll come back occasionally my parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks but yeah just give college some more more thought okay I told you I, I can't go it's not for me Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Emily doesn't get it. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is, the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. This is very, very interesting. Like I said, I love Silent Hill because Silent Hill games, if you understand, <coughs> sorry, if you understand how it actually works, is the Silent Hill games are based off of everybody's sins. So even though you run into other characters and stuff, really their their punishment or in their torment is based off the sins that they did in their, in their life. And that's why I always loved Silent Hill is how intricate their backstory is uh, for the game. You just kind of got to understand it a little bit. So. This just looks so good. Maya. Are you here? Is this your studio? Are these Maya sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. A new life. Full of life. Are you here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Where are you? It 
It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? So interesting. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. I was thinking selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have gotten mad. she jump from the villa why did she have to die Maya's oh dead oh Wait. shit Maya's really dead Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh god, I jumped. Oh no. 
Oh no. This is where I jumped from. Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. Oh shit. Oh. That was deep. For as short as it was, that was really deep. Oh shit. Oh, man. Huh? Am I back at the villa? Oh, is it continuing? But why didn't I die? And that's gotten bigger. can't leave until I find it. But what am I finding? Oh no. My battery. Bad girl gets an the empty plate. It's all your fault. What? Oh 
shit. What is this? Children who turn trauma into tales. Solitude and anxiety in teenagers. Part 2. Um... All the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and interestingly, all of them uh, conceptualized uh, these issues as Grand Lou's stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood uh, scars as stigmata, um, believing those scars would bloom into beauty cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grand lose the story surrounding it. Wait, it's back on. I don't like that bag thing. Man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like terrified of like turning around. Uh, how could somebody do this? My fucking god. I knew it. to me, but you're leaving me behind. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in the letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more.
There's the painting from before. What's in here? Nothing. Oh wait, we got some kind of. We got a shrine. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling. A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff. I think there's something real about it. My great-grandmother... ...was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like... ...some sort of prophet. But... ...they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstad. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstad share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets it the practice apart is is its slight bend of both western and eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the belief of uh, belief in witches. Teenage suicides continue. Uh, to, uh, oh, I've done, I've done read that. In Japanese culture, there was, there has long been a sense of beauty and sacrifice with har harakiri, killing yourself, uh, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach. Uh, being a prime example of the idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. Uh, this concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, or death is needed to protect that life. Huh. You want food? Do what I say! Man, that's what I'm talking about. Like the backstories, fucking. This is all your fault. Everything, you're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my own, my place in this world, all of it, and you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not. Talented, you're not special. You call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off multiple times. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Well, damn.
uh, Dutch Land Medical University School of Medicine orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Dutch Land uh, Medical University, founded in 1709. DMU is one of the Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. The art, the state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details when September 24, 2021, 1130 to 1300. Uh, we're School of Medic uh, Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Uh, hey, Anita. You got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me, let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't felt, I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, just trying to avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah, we can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. Man, this is good. December 23, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he... He was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. February 21, 2021. I think I'm finally uh, finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't answer. May 11, 2021. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for you and you, you and Dad. So, October 17, 2020, uh, 2020, I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can't I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. November 9, 2020, Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but something got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if, I had, if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out, not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city. Where college life is waiting for me. Everything's writing on the entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Huh. Stay home alone! August 24, 2021. I got some materials from a first uh, from a first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22nd, 2021. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. wasn't even 
wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, uh, money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that work was for nothing? No way. Don't believe me. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. September 23, 2021. Mom just left. She told me, she told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear, but where should I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Emily hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Young student fell dead. Possible suicide. September 25, 2021. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Kettenstead apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. Uh, no note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Emily's not like this, though. Right? So, Amelie, who's been texting me, could she be dead as well? Because that's what it seems like. I should not be walking this way. This is like stupid, stupid for me to do. But look at this. Oh my god! Schools and hospitals are like the two most creepiest locations you guys could, like anybody could freaking possibly go to. Freak. Oh, this is trippy.
Alright guys, well, this is going to be the end of this video. We're going to pick it up in another part. Um, I'm sorry, I thought this was going to be like a lot shorter than what it was. But it looks like it, it continues on. But the game did save, so we can pick this back up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.